Okay, it's Wednesday, March, I guess it's the 18th, um, and what we're going to do today is uh, spend a little bit of time prepping the uh, another bed, uh, so one of the nine that are left, and uh, we're going to put some potatoes in uh, today. Uh, so what I'll be doing is uncovering um, the, the row, so you can see the row out there, right next to the one that we just used for the uh, onions and uh, I'll be uncovering the row, uh, so pulling the tarp back and uh, leaving it on, then on the, the, the third, the, the three that are left there and I'll start uh, broad forking. Uh, Patricia will come after me and she'll pull a little bit of uh, the straw that we put down last fall um, and then uh, put the potatoes down and, and we'll cover it then with uh, some uh, topsoil um, with some mulch over top, some straw over top of that again. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, I've got the second uh, camera set up over there and I'll uh, give you a, a flavor of what uh, rod forking uh, in that second road looks like. Hopefully it's as easy as it was in the first one. So I'll turn this over to Trisha a second to give you a description of what she's doing. So, well, we're planting potatoes. So we've, Roland has uh, broad forked the whole row. First it was covered with straw over the winter, so we kind of moved that away. He broad forked it. And then I'm taking the potato um, eyes. So I bought some sweet potatoes, but we had potatoes left over from last year. And you cut them up and let them sit for a couple days to get a little bit of a skin on it so they don't rot in the soil when you plant them. <clears throat> so you can see that they, the potatoes that we have have kind of eyes on them and some roots. And uh, so you just plant them face the roots sticking up or the eyes sticking up. Some don't have... It's not um, the roots, Trish. That's the, 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 roots, the, plant, the plant, plant growth itself. that's going to come yeah. up. Um, but the... Some has growth on the eyes and some don't, but you can see that there's eyes, so there will be growth. So, uh, just put them two in a row, about six inches apart. And uh, now I'm putting mushroom compost that we got on each of the um, potatoes. You can see the darker soil. That's the mushroom compost. Yeah, and then and then we are going to put a layer of the triple mix over there, over top of the potatoes, probably about three inches on it, and then we'll put straw back on, about three inches of straw back on, and uh, and then some of the straw can stay in the in the past. So. The idea keep of the straw is keep down on weeding. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to do a lot of weeding. So, as you can see, there's very little in terms of weeds uh, that came up over the winter. That's a combination of covering the rows with straw and then covering that with the uh, the tarp uh, during the entire winter. And uh, essentially, nothing underneath can can grow because there's no light. Yeah. So. I've got a little bit more to do here that we have, so we'll probably have a row and a quarter or a third um, of potatoes. So that will probably do us for the year because we had a row of potatoes, not even quite a row, yeah. last year, and we had potatoes up until February, March. Um, so 
um, yeah, it'll do us for the year if these uh, if these grow. And this year we'll have a cold storage room to actually store them in, rather than exactly. keeping them in a cupboard, cupboard. in <laughs> at that was at room temperature all the time. Yeah. Um, so it'll be uh, interesting to see how different uh, they will be in terms of their storage and uh, what they look like by the time we get to March or so next year. All right, so back to the other camera and I'll continue with the time lapse. Uh, Trish is just finishing up putting straw as mulch on top of this last row or part row. We uh, ended up with a few more potatoes than a full row by another oh, uh, 10 feet or so. So again the straw is straw that we laid down as mulch uh, underneath the tarps last year so it's uh, started to decompose, but you can see that it's got a fair amount of its original structure still. And uh, hopefully it'll provide some cover for the potatoes as they're coming up. And then it'll start breaking down towards the end of the summer so that uh, we can replace it with new straw at the uh, end of the summer. <laughs> 